It's land, Scoob. But somehow, I don't think we made it to Maui. Uh -oh. Like when we took out that boat to find the perfect luau, we weren't counting on it being smashed to smithereens by the perfect wave. Yeah, wipe out. Well, things could be worse, Scoob. We're only boat wrecked on an unknown island, and it's getting dark with creepy noises all around us, and maybe even real wiki tikis. Maybe they couldn't be worse. We're cast away, Scoob, without even a soccer ball to talk to. Look, washed up on the beach. It's Fred's cell phone he let me borrow. We're saved. What to do? Call you know who. Who? Kid Y, he knows the why of what, where, and how. Let's hope the Y button still works. You quest in our manifest. Kid Y arriving by long distance hologram. Cool, huh? It's my extra credit project in lab class. And here's the best part. My hologram can go wherever you can. Well, I've got bad news for your hologram. It's stranded on a deserted island. How the heck do we get out of here? Yeah. Not sure yet, but this is Hawaii. We will be clued in by answers from the island, from the spirits, or from the sea. Let's get surviving. See, what you guys have found here is just one of the over 100 islands that make up Hawaii, stretching 1,500 miles across the Pacific Ocean. They were stumbled upon by Captain James Cook while he was looking for the Northwest Passage. He called them the Sandwich Islands, after the early sandwich, who the sandwich is named after. Man, like that is our new hero, replacing the Duke of Donuts. Volcano! Yikes! <laughs> and us without our lava galoshes. Relax, fellas. The only active volcanoes these days are on the Big Island. Oh, it's just a hunger alarm going off in Scooby's tummy. <laughs> But volcanoes are what formed all of these islands. They've been erupting for millions of years, caused by molten rock belching up through the sea floor. I usually take a little antacid when that happens. Creating the islands, which are actually tips of humongous mountains. They start miles and miles down on the ocean floor. So believe it or not, the world's tallest mountain from base to peak is Mauna Kea on the big island of Hawaii. Even in the tropics, it often has snow-capped peaks, so you can surf and ski on the same day. Like sweet. Yeah, groovy. And Hawaii never stops taking shape. In fact, quite possibly the world's most active volcano is Kilauea, erupting for the last 21 years, still erupting today. Not in this neighborhood, I hope. Well, that might be your first clue to leaving here. The islands are mostly neighbors within traveling distance of each other. Now, if we only had a power ski. I think we'll find our own way to get from island to island, thanks to the spirits of the ancient people who came here. The Polynesians arrived by canoes from the Marquesas Islands around 400 AD. Whoa, that's over 1,600 years ago. I'll bet it was hard to get a decent root beer float back then. Probably, uh, but they did bring with them a rich heritage. From those traditions came a very special storytelling ritual the Hawaiian homegrown hula. Passing the culture through the generations using song and chant and drums and dance. The dancers say what they mean to body language. In other words, read my hips. His hips are saying, I wish I had some little grass shacks filled with tons of Scooby snacks. They danced stories about hurricanes and volcanoes. They also told about the creatures they found, the albatross and the sea turtles, and the humpback whales, which visit the islands on their annual migration and can eat up to one and a half tons of food a day. Wow, it takes us a week to do that. At least. So what's the clue for leaving? You said the spirits would show us. Getting there, get this. Lava rock carvings show pictures of ancient surfers from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. I wonder if they also showed ancient wipeouts. Now picture this, the ancient Hawaiians perfected the art of surfing. I think they came up with the word gnarly? Probably not, but they did come up with he nalu, which means wave rider. And being one with the surf became a huge part of their daily lives. Sounds like us and the peanut butter calzone. Yeah. <laughs> Even Hawaiian royalty loved to surf. Wow, totally awesome. I think we could make it to Oahu. Why don't you try it and find out? And just hope you don't run into a tsunami. Oh, I really, really hope we don't. What's tsunami? 
Just a wave caused by undersea earthquakes that travels more than 400 miles per hour, climbs as much as 100 feet, and can swallow whole towns. Zoinks! <laughs> that would take us all the way to Chicago. <laughs> Lay back, dudes. They don't barrel through too often. Any trick to this? Hey, the only surfing I do is with the browser. Try hanging 10. I don't think Scooby has 10 to hang. <laughs> uh oh, this is one point two. No way. Surf's up! Cowabunga! Oh no! When the wave takes out, the wave brings back. Like think there's maybe another clue to leaving? Getting there. Think about the way the Polynesians came here. Traveling thousands of miles in canoes made of hollowed out trees. We're on it! Like it'd be a lot easier with tools. The Polynesians didn't have the best tools either. They used sharpened rock shards. Well, I bet that was a lot faster than digging by dog. Done. Spoke too soon, eh, Scoob? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Gotta go. Urgent matter. Involving maybe like your vortex and unexplored cyberspace? More like my mom. And unfinished homework. Uh, be right there! Well, thanks, Kid Y, for getting us back to civilization. Oop. We hope. Yeah, we hope. Hey, I come, I know, I tell, I go. Aloha, Maka Maka. Now, like, what would make us want to go back out on the scary, soaking sea? Volcano? No. Both our tummies. <laughs> we need lunch. Food? Like, how do we drive this thing? Scooby Dooby Canoe. Want to know more? Dare to explore. National Geographic's the place to start when you depart. Cannonball! Dive into Nat Geo animal videos. Not like in the zoo. See them free and wild. Really wild. Flip, flip through Nat Geo Kids magazine. Get zapped by the stories behind the stories. Unknown facts about hot new phenomena and new cool technology. Talk about cool. Explorer magazine at school. Launch into space with Nat Geo books. The only limitation, your imagination. Look out for National Geographic TV. Soon to be rocking, socking, and tingling your eyeballs. Or hey, be there for real at the Geographic Bee or join Geography Action. Venture on to your own adventure with incredible new toys from National Geographic and Target. Remote control subs, metal detectors, nothing boring, go get exploring. Whoa, who knew there's so much National Geographic stuff out there? Not me, until now. And there's lots more yet. Check the internet. So flip, read, click, soar, dare to explore.